Hello everyone, my name is Jason, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to collapse categories in SPSS. And I'm going to use the variable education in this example. And my original variable, education, only has four categories. Zero, less than high school, one, high school, two, undergrad, and three, graduate. And I'm going to create this new variable called education collapsed and I'm only going to have three categories. What I want to do here is I want to combine these two categories into one. Okay, so I got to take all the participants from this category and add them to all the participants in this category and combine them into this category. I'm going to bring up my SPSS window now so we can take a look at how this is going to be done. Here you can see my variable education and you can see we have four categories. Now I'm just going to give you guys a little descriptive understanding of what's going on here. You can see my four categories right down this column and in my first category of less than high school I only have four people, there's only four people in that category and that's not enough to do certain statistical analyses and so for that reason I want to combine the first category with the second category and if you add them up we should be getting about 143 participants in that first category if we combine them so how are we going to do that well I'm going to pull up my data editor window and the first thing we're going to do is hit transform then we're going to hit recode into different variables. Here I'm going to throw in education and I'm going to type in the new name for the variable that we wish to create. And I'm going to call it education collapsed. I'm going to leave the label field blank for now and I'm going to hit change. Now I'm going to hit old and new values. And here is where you're going to want to remember what numbers you had assigned to each of the categories in your original variable and know what numbers you want to have assigned to each of the new categories in your new variable. Okay, because basically all we're doing is we're, we're taking these participants and we're throwing them into one of these categories and we need to know exactly which numbers are going to go where. So we know from that diagram that 0 is going to become 1. Right? The old category of 0 is going to become the new category of 1. The old value of 1 is going to become the new value of 1, or it's going to stay the same. 2 is also going to stay the same, and 3 is also going to stay the same. So. You can see here we have 0 to 1, 1 to 1, 2 to 2, and 3 to 3. And if we look at our original plan, right, we had 0 to 1, 1 to 1, 2 to 2, and 3 to 3. So everything looks good. Now all we're going to do is hit continue and OK. Now you can see the little syntax right here. It says education recode. And here's what we've done in case you uh, forget and here's the new variable name now I'm going to bring up my SPSS window and you can see this column has not been filled out so you're going to want to do that the value of 1 is high school or less 2 is undergrad and 3 is graduate and I'm going to hit OK now we can take a look at our new variable. Here we are. You can see now we only have three categories and the first category has 143 participants and well, it looks like we did it right because that would be the correct result if we had combined these first two categories. As well, you can see that number two and number three here, undergrad and grad respectively, also have the same number of participants and that's good because we didn't touch those categories. So if you have any questions, please feel free to message me. If not, stay tuned for my next video. Cheers!